god, those are the old. I'm wanting to make sure, okay, well, a little bit of work in that. Let's give a little hiss. Look at the size of this place. That's a big garter snake. So beautiful. You are going to see it. So this is Mojo, this is an American alligator, the female, which is probably pretty close to full grown. She never really stopped growing, so she'll continue to grow the rest of her life, but she's not going to make any huge strides in size or anything like that. Uh, she's probably about 200 pounds, somewhere around there. It always feels so full, but it's 72. It's got that 72 year round, but it always feels colder than what it is. Yeah. So your right arm follows my arm. Yeah. Right under, and grab on the outside. And just take it to your bicep. You're fine. It's all good, buddy. Well, downfall. You're not going to be fine. Oh, yeah. She never tries to turn and bite, she just tries to get away. Yeah. So if there's ever a point where like, she's rocking you so much, that like, I don't know if you catch her. Yeah. You know what? I am very happy with her just this way because I'm freezing in this water. <laughs> <laughs> you are so beautiful. Oh, you are so beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh. You know what? Like, it's just, oh, I don't know, just to look and see this animal and just how beautiful it is, right? You know, you're just, you're, you're oh, it's power and, and beauty all in one thing. Um, you know, I, I almost feel like it takes you back in time in a way, you know? You know what? This is fun. Buddy, you're going to have to get in here and do this, okay, my friend? So, Josh is now getting in. Yep, our cameraman. <laughs> I told you, Josh, he told. <laughs> That'll wake you up in the morning. So my bicep goes here. So it's underwater. So it's tight. Tight like this. So she tries to go this way, she can't get to you, she can't get to your shoulders, she can't bite your shoulders, she can't headbutt you. This is what she's saying. Okay. He's got another one there. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright, you just sit his hand and pat her up here. Just don't, just don't put your hands like here. Like, right? Yeah, the so side, never on. touch the alligator on the side of a face. <laughs> Lesson number one. Everything that gets in here is like, oh, this is cheating. We were in a lake that was filled with this yesterday. Yeah. So you try to get her right up. Yeah. You stand up, you can kind of like lean back. There you go. Look at that. Josh is holding himself a big alligator. What we're noticing right now is you're just having a great time enjoying yourself. Um, you know, like. Thank gosh, you know, it was, a, it was worth the four hour drive getting <laughs> up at five o'clock this morning to make sure we were here, you know, and that, and uh, having a great time enjoying the day. And like I said, uh, Steve's been nothing but a great host. And then we're learning so much about what he does. And uh, we're gonna be out there to look for some other stuff. And we might even find some rattlesnakes tomorrow. <laughs> this is gonna be great. But already this day has been made. 
Uh, we're also, this little girl after she has a little playtime here, or we have playtime I should say, uh, we're, she needs to get fed so we're going to also give her some food there. Yes, I know. Probably not the best to walk by an alligator that's getting fed, but, I mean, there we are. Where are we right now, Paul? So this is a French River Park, and uh, we're just looking around. And that, there's a chance that we can find out what's nice here. It's a beautiful place, right? Absolutely amazing. This is a wonderful park. These are people who really put time and dedication into it. <clears throat> Paul, look at this. Ooh. Look how many species there are. It's pretty expansive. Ring neck snake. Yeah. Where's ribbon? Eastern ribbon, right there. Nice. I know you guys can identify them all, but just even for my own use. And uh, I think it'll be. No, I, I think once in a while you gotta kind of go over it again and review yourself. Oh, 100 percent. Now, being out here, the chances are higher now. Yeah, there's a bit of warmth out here. Gives them a chance to come out and look around. <sighs> we have nothing. Sweet nothing. Sweet nothing. big giant bouldery type areas and then there's rocks for them to go down into and then they can get down to that spot where they can actually uh, maintain that temperature so they survive. That's what I was talking about like right in this area. So that would not shock me. So this might not be the best day. Uh, it's a little overcast. Uh, we are a little late in the season. But again, it's like anything. Sometimes you, you gotta make plans in life, and sometimes you just can't get to where you wanna be. But we took advantage of it now uh, because there might be a chance. Your knees are not gonna like this, Paul.
got it, Belly? So, our third snake, right? A nice little baby, beautiful ring neck snake, right? Avery found it, and Avery works with Steve, right? And uh, what is your job uh, with dealing with Steve? Um, oh God, I didn't know you were interviewing me. <laughs> you talk to you. Camp counselor. Camp counselor, right? Yeah. Have you ever caught a ring neck before? No. So this is your first ring neck. You know what? Why don't you hold this little baby? Right? Did they bite? Uh, if it did, I don't know how it would hurt you. Okay. Right? Um, even adults, I just pretty much would freehandle them no problem. Never actually ever had an issue. You might have to hold on just a touch from this, but it's the underbelly is what I've always loved and the color. Look at how brightly the color of that underbelly is, right? Just a pretty, neat little creature. Where was it? Right there. Like just in between a crack. Really? So just a young one, eh? Are they typically this color? But that's very dark for what I'm oh, used really? to. But that's young, so that might just mean it that just as time goes by. Still get yeah, see? Is more that gray color? Right, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, another one? Yeah, another one, right? And then look at the belly. Look, look at the brightness on that belly, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But this yeah. This one's this... almost like orange, and then it turns. I guess yeah, it goes see, yellow. Yeah. See, look like a comparison, right? Yeah. And, uh, it is darker. And they're not venomous. No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Now there are night snakes that you go west to find, and they are uh, that uh, venomous. I think the rear fang. Oh. But the night snakes. What's funny and interesting about them is they kind of look similar. Right? Oh, a bit okay. of similarity. Yeah. So I think, you know, just the fact they don't bite on me, it's ever got to find out if they maybe yeah. had anything in them. Yeah. yeah. And they must. Did they must? Yeah. yeah. Does it smell great? This one smells fine. Oh, well, the Look, snake shed too. Ring. Well, that was just wonderful, right? We've found two snakes. Uh, we haven't been here very long. One was a tiny little baby, and then a, an adult. Uh, it has absolutely been worthwhile, and uh, the girls have been here to help us too. And then Josh, of course, jumping around with his camera. Is that not just the cherry on top? Oh, love it. Love it. Made me so happy. Right? We we're all having fun, and uh, like in a short period of time, boom, we we're found a baby. That's just the part I loved. That little baby. And then we could use it for a comparison to a, a larger adult. I had never seen a ring neck before, so oh, that yeah, was pretty that, cool. That's the best, eh? Uh, I'm looking forward to finding some stuff that I've never seen myself. So I, uh, part of this reason is to educate, but there is a slightly selfish part of me that wants to see these animals. And uh, before I get so tired <laughs> walking around that I can't do it anymore. Way over there, you'd see like birch trees that fell over, and way over there, birch trees. But nothing here. There wasn't a single piece of greenery here. So this. Going to the right, we'll go to the front of the park and under the highway. And going to the left, we'll go all the way to Algonquin. When we first came up, there was fish right there. Yeah. But the minute we moved, they all went back out of the way. Well, guys, I think we need to kind of start making our way back. I got a meeting at six. No problem, Steve. Yeah, you know where it is, but I'm gonna say it. Thank you so much. You got it. Man. Right, Holly, amazing. Tell your mother. Right, tell your mother that she's amazing. I'm so good. I just appreciate it. Just anybody wants to support the situation, right? That's what it's all about, right? Support. And if you're ever in Hamilton, don't call me again. <laughs>